Hi, this is Angelo, owner of AppealUnfairPropertyTax.com, where you never pay a percentage to fight your Cook County property taxes, single family homes, small and huge million dollar houses, um, all the way up to six unit apartment buildings. All pay us a low flat fee. Um, we're five stars everywhere. Facebook, Google, Yelp, a plus rating, Better Business Bureau. So um, do nothing, get nothing. Uh, this video is going to be um, put up here so you can save as much as you can save off your property tax bill this July by getting the exemptions that you're entitled to. There are several Cook County exemptions when you own a home, and we're going to go over some of them right now. Number one, the homeowner's exemption. Uh, it's the standard exemption. Everyone gets two conditions, that you live in the house and that you've been there since January 1st of 2020, okay? Now, uh, the tax bills come out of your late, so this July is the second installment for 2020. The first installment's out now. You probably didn't see it because your mortgage probably opened it. They're gonna pay it and adjust your mortgage a month or two from now. So, uh, the first installment also, um, the treasurer has a note on their news page that you have until May 2nd or May 3rd to pay without penalty. We'll check that in a bit. I'm going to show you that, okay? So um, there's also two senior exemptions, and this is something a lot of seniors miss. We enroll people all the time in their 80s, and we're like, hey, we see you're not getting the senior exemption. They're like, no, no, I make too much. We're like, no, 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 there's two. One which has an income requirement of 65,000 household um, or less. If you make more than 65,000 household, including the children or anybody that lives in the house technically, then you don't qualify. When they mail the form out, it unfolds to all these boxes that say add up your income from everywhere. And if they're over it, they toss it and they don't think anything else. Those who are curious and turned it over on the backside is the standard exemption, um, standard senior exemption just for being 65. Now the senior exemption, you get it whatever year you turn 65. You don't have to be 65 from January 1. So uh, to get the senior exemption on this next coming July bill, the second installment for 2020, you had to be born in 1955 or prior, okay? Um, now, if you turn 65 in 2019, um, then you get it for that year. It's a refund, okay? So this video is going to be two parts. We're going to show you how to apply for the exemptions if you've never had them, and then we're going to show you how to get refunds up to three years, um, 19, 18, and 17. You cannot get a refund for 20 yet, even though we're in 21, because it's not been fully paid yet. Only the first installment's out now. The second installment comes in July. When that bill comes out, they're going to shave off 17. Um, then you can only go back for 19, I'm sorry, 20, 19, and 18. You're going to lose 17. So um, no matter how long you've been missing something, you only get to go back three years. So um, the county's inherited millions of dollars in that fashion, okay, based on that little rule. So uh, here we go. You're going to go to cookcountyassessor.com. You could probably see it up here on the top left and top left over there of the browser in the URL. When you get there, you are going to mouse over here to this one right here. Da 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 da. Appeal for um, all forms and tools. When you click on that, a little drop down list appears. And here we go. We're going to start with the exemptions. And before you apply for these, we're going to show you another website you can hop on and see what exemptions you got last year. Here's something cool the county did this year. They're automatically renewing several exemptions, and you're going to see which one's right here. Here you go. Asterisk means auto renews in 2020, meaning if you had it on last July 2019, okay, that came out in July of 20, it will automatically be there this July, all right? The homeowner's exemption, if you had it last July 2019, second installment, it's going to be there this July. The senior exemption automatically renews. The senior freeze exemption automatically renews. Now, here's something I think is really cool. Um, I kind of gave them flack on this exemption. Um, uh, veterans with disabilities automatically renews and persons with disabilities automatically renews. I thought that was cool of them. Why? Some people come off a disability. Some people get better. Um, a lot of people don't, unfortunately, but I thought that was really cool of them to automatically renew those also. So um, the only two that don't are the returning veterans um, actually, there's a few. Um, Long-time homeowner exemption. If you live there more than 10 years, there used to be a great exemption for that. When you click on it, you, um, it's going to warn you that only 11,000 people got it last year. Uh, it's less than 2% of all taxpayers. So um, it's most people don't get it because it required that you went up so much every three years. And the assessor has lowered pretty much everybody, and that disqualifies them. Um, 
they've lowered everybody a little bit over the last nine years, and that disqualified you, basically. That's the way it was kind of explained to me. Um, so you, you don't meet the severe hike every three years requirement. So don't waste your time, basically. Admitted assessments, um, that one too is another one you have to do for yourself. Uh, it doesn't automatically renew. Now, here we go. Um, before you do any of this, I'm gonna show you the website where you can check what you got last year. CookCountyPropertyInfo.com. You'll see it up in the top left over there. Sorry, my camera's reversed. So CookCountyPropertyInfo.com. Don't know your PIN number, don't worry. You can search by an address. Um, I was trying to remember my mom's address on Roscoe. I can't, but um, 1700. On her block, they knocked down four houses and rebuilt in one year, one summer. Unreal. Uh, Roscoe Village is a very expensive place to be. Uh, 1730 Roscoe, just a random address I picked. Oh, now this is a condo. So if you have a single family home, you're only going to see one blue link here. Um, when you click on the blue link, you're going to see usually a picture of your house. This one doesn't have one. Um, when you scroll down here, you are going to see your exemptions column. Boom, right here. Okay. Um, if you see a zero, it means you got no exemptions in 2019. Okay. Uh, trying to highlight just 2019. Right there, zero exemptions received. Now, if you look at 16, they, they had a one, one exemption received. If you see a one, it's usually the homeowner's exemption. If you see a two, it's usually homeowner and senior. A three is homeowner, senior, senior freeze. A four is homeowner, senior, senior freeze, and something else like disabled person, etc. cetera. Um, when you click on it, you can actually see what it was for. Um, homeowner's exemption, okay, uh, right there. So um, this homeowner, um, what can kick off the exemption? A name change, a, a deed change, even if it's just the first name, like um, women usually live longer than men. Husband's first name changes to wife's first name. They kick off all the exemptions. Um, if the mail gets returned for any reason, they assume you're not there. Remember, the exemption requires that you live there. So if the mail bounces, um, they kick it off. Uh, now, in this case, you would want to apply for the exemption, get it back on, and do three years of certificates of error. 19, 18, 17. How much money is that? The homeowner's exemption is between 600 and $1,200 a year usually. Um, the senior exemption standard is 300 to 800 usually. Um, the senior freeze is not worth a lot of money the first time you apply, but it's most beneficial the year before a reassessment. When you get it on before an up year, every three years they get to raise your value, uh, it saves you, you know, you won't get hiked like 30, 40% like everyone else. So here we go. Um, if Again, if you saw a one up here in 2019, a homeowner's exemption, and you're not 65, you're not disabled, you're not a veteran, you're good. Nothing else for you to do. Call it a day. But go to our website, appealunfairpropertytax.com. Hit the free evaluation form. Um, I'll show you a peek of our website real quick right here. Boom. Click right here, this little... Uh, um, free evaluation. It'll jump to the bottom. There's a form. If you want to read uh, a very important update for Chicago owners, warning them that 2021 is the up year for Chicago. When are the rest of you going to be in your up year? Let's do that real quick. Cook County, picture 35 miles around Chicago, including Chicago. You cut it into three slices, north of Chicago, city of Chicago, and south of Chicago. Every year, the county puts its finger on one of the three and says, okay, screw in with this one. In 2021, the finger is on Chicago. Between now and July, all Chicago homes are gonna get a new property tax value that's gonna stick three years unless you fight it within 30 days of it being issued. Here's the problem. Most homeowners don't see the notice. Why? Goes to the mortgage. Guess what the mortgage does with it? They shoot a three-pointer with it. They don't give a crap because all they're gonna do is skyrocket your mortgage when it goes unchallenged and the 30% increase hits your bill next year you know, with full force. So our customers see it that year. Uh, the reason the bill comes out a year later, two reasons. You can fight it several times or you can start saving. Again, most people um, don't start saving because they didn't see the warning. So um, eight, uh, 2021, Chicago. How bad is it going to be? Um, hit our YouTube channel, We Chop Prop Taxes. We Chop Prop Taxes. Look at the Lakeview House, 110% increase. No construction in 10 years, same owners, 10 years. Insane. Um, went from 10 grand to 20 grand a year. Uh, so that happens again this year. You got one year to beat that increase down several times through the appeal process. Um, now, Chicago's getting it in 21. Southside got it in 20. They don't know it yet because the 2020 bill with the values on it, they only show on the July bill. It's coming in five months. Get ready for it, six months. Uh, it's gonna be ugly. The north side, 
um, got it in 19, okay? They were pissed off in 20. That's when that bill came out. So um, 19 on the north, 20 city of Chicago. I'm sorry, um, 19 on the north, uh, 20 south, 21 Chicago, okay? Uh, you got to be fighting if you don't do anything. Uh, north side, you got it in 19. So uh, 2021, 22 is your next up year. That means this year, 2021, is the last year for you to go down. All the Evanston to Barrington is going to get the shockwave next year, 2022, okay? You last got it in 19. Um, Chicago last got it in 18. They're getting it in 21. Southside got it in 20. They're going to get it again in 23. And round and round we go. Just keep circling those three pieces. So got to do something or you're going to get hammered. Uh, anyways, back to the exemptions real quick. So if you see zero, um, then you want to go ahead and get it applied for. So back to cookcountyassessor.com. And you want to um, click on the homeowner's exemption right here. Boom. And when you click on that, you're going to scroll down here and you're going to see your eligibility. Um, you know, you got to live there from January 1. Um, documents required to prove that you're there. Um, if your ID was issued in the middle of 2020, like June of 20, they're going to ask you to submit like a utility bill, a cable bill, something like that, internet bill. Uh, paste up, whatever, uh, to prove that you were getting mail back in 2020, uh, January 1st of 2020, okay? Um, due date, you have to apply for this by March 31st of 21 to get it on the July bill, so sooner the better, okay? Um, then click apply, and you're going to click right here, this apply online. Uh, when you click this, it's going to take you to a DocuSign, very simple, full name, make sure it's your full name because it's going to be a legal document, and then your email address, follow the steps, and you're done, okay? And the process is just repeated for um, the different exemptions, senior, um, senior freeze exemption, um, and that's if you, just, if you have to apply. If you didn't get it last year, you need to apply now for 2020, okay? Now, refunds, my favorite part, money back, checks, money in the bank, certificates of error, one, two, three, four, five down from the top, Certificates of error is the official word. Uh, it's the beginning of the red tape and cutting a check, you know, um, the county cutting a check to you. Um, if you check the happy clients um, testimonials, our videos page, several categories, get wiser, don't worry about unfinished basement. None of that crap matters. Um, basements are always free, even when they're finished. You just didn't know it. Um, the first client got five grand back. We don't charge for reductions or refunds. It's 100% yours. Um, all the competition takes 30 to 50% of your reductions and 30 to 50% of your refund checks. Now, here's where you want to be careful with the competition. Um, when you read their contracts, you will not see refunds. You will see certificates of error, okay? So that's how they get covered um, when, when, when you get a nice refund check or a nice reduction. So here, this is where you see the um, form. You could actually print out the form. Uh, I strongly encourage you to do it online. When you do it online, uh, they can't lose it. So um, when you mail stuff in, stuff gets lost all the time. Um, we've had customers say, I mailed it in certified. I got a signature. You can't make out the signature. There's no accountability. If you don't notice it's missing, if it goes more than three years, kiss it goodbye. Um, they inherited it. So um, when you click apply online, same thing. Um, this will now say certificate of error in DocuSign. So uh, right here, certificate of error. That means refund, okay? So you want to be getting that money back. Now, this is for 19, 18, or 17, okay? Um, you can't, because um, you, you those are already paid. Again, you cannot do a refund. You cannot do a certificate of error for 20 because 20 is not paid in full yet. It'll be paid in full after this next installment comes out. So the whole idea is now you apply for the exemption if you haven't been getting it, so you can knock down that bill. It's better to apply for it and have the bill lowered than forget to do it, pay maximum taxes, and then try to get your money back. How long do refunds take? Um, they used to take years to get them back, and about seven or eight years ago, they passed a law that said um, uh, if the homeowner waits more than six months, he or she gets interest. They went from taking years to just under six months. And now, um, before coronavirus, it was taking about 60 to 90 days to get a refund check. Um, probably a little longer now um, 
being that they're on a skeleton staff um, due to the coronavirus epidemic. So um, there you go. That's how you get your money. Um, do nothing, get nothing. Um, I hope you found this video helpful. Please share it with a neighbor. Um, you can also hop on that. You know, property taxes are all public information. You can hop on Cook County Property Info here. Um, when you click the little um, up at the top, the um, this little portal, it brings you back to the homepage and you can search as many properties as you want. You can check if mom and dad got it. Um, you can check if the girlfriend's mom and dad got it. Um, be the hero, okay? So um, Cook County has a 99.99% .99 collection rate. Um, if you wanna take a guess um, who gets the, um, who the 1.01% .01 is, uh, those are the people who die when the bill is due. And this is the old joke, um, the only thing that is certain, death and taxes. So. Um, if you're here hanging onto the house by a thread, um, I know what it's like to be broke. Um, I was raised by a single mom. We were homeless twice. Um, I know a lot of you have one income or uh, lost both incomes and uh, maybe have a little savings. Most of you I know have already burned through the savings and, and you're hanging on by a thread. If you think there's any chance of keeping the house, you got to be fighting the property taxes. Um, our low flat fee makes that very affordable. It's $125 a year or $225 for three years. Um, that way it's 40% off. It averages out to only $75 a year. Um, and it's meant to protect you for all of the cycle or what's left of this cycle and a couple of years into the next cycle um, so you don't miss any windows, okay? Um, we'd love to have you. Um, two different agencies each year help you lower the taxes. The first one is the assessor. Second one's the board of review. Um, go learn more on our, our videos page of our website or uh, really informative is our YouTube channel. We chop prop taxes, all one word. Thank you. Have a nice day. I look forward to helping you. Take care.